He just feels like he's like an Eagle fan that happens to be on the Cowboys. Yeah, but here's the part that I don't understand. How can you say that the Eagles getting Saquon Barkley is an indictment on the Giants without also simultaneously criticizing owner Jerry Jones for not trying to sign Saquon Barkley too? Bingo. <laughs> but you, you knew that your team was going to need a running back because Tony Pollard left in free agency. He could have helped you. He, he didn't reach out to Saquon Barkley. He didn't reach out to Derrick Henry. And those two guys are at the top of the leaderboard when it comes to rushing in the NFL through week nine. How the hell does that make any sense? I don't, I don't know if he realizes that's what he's doing, but that's exactly what's happening now. I, I, can't, I can't criticize him too much for saying that the Giants didn't make the smartest of decisions by letting Saquon Barkley walk. They decided that they were going to franchise tag him and extend Daniel Jones long term after Saquon Barkley was the impetus for the team going to the playoffs in Brian Dable's first year. Daniel Jones threw a grand total of 15 touchdown passes in the, what is it, 2021 regular season? And you're talking about Saquon Barkley having 1,600 yards from scrimmage in that same year. I, I don't understand how you thought that that was the thing that was driving you, so you kept Daniel Jones and eventually laid the groundwork for Saquon Barkley walking out of your organization. Yeah. That is that That makes no sense. So... I'm actually with Michael Parsons on that piece of it. Me too. But but to sit here and talk about how great of a move it was for the Eagles and how the rest of the NFL has to pay for it, well, you realize it didn't have to be that way. <laughs> Saquon Barkley could have been your teammate. And that's the part where I think him having a podcast is probably not one of those things that Jerry Jones nor the front office of the Dallas Cowboys nor the head coach actually love. But how can you tell him that he can't have a podcast and express his opinions and uh, monetize it when your owner is doing the same thing over and over and over again? It's hard to put that edict down when you're not leading by example. And, you know, one of my favorite quotes is, if you're not changing it, you're choosing it. And that's what the Dallas Cowboys are right now. They have all this drama all the time, yet they do nothing. Mm -hmm. So they're choosing the results to be what they are right now. Mm -hmm. And... It's kind of hard for Micah Parsons to point the finger at the guy who's writing his checks. Yeah. He might believe that, but it's kind of hard to go on a podcast and criticize your owner when he's the one that's paying your bills. But I'm with him with what he's saying about Saquon Barkley and the Giants. It is a very different experience when you feel wanted. Someone chooses you. And even though the Giants did that at the outset with Saquon, they hemmed and hawed about the contract. They didn't want to pay him, ridiculous. which was ridiculous. He constantly said, I want to be a giant. He was a great face of that franchise for a long time. But for so long, they let it be known that they did not value him in the same way. It was not reciprocal. The Eagles were like, we see the value in you. Come on down to Philly. And he's, he's having a great year there and is a, a great addition to that offense. So how much of an indictment is it on Joe Shane and Brian Dable to let Saquon Barkley walk and go to Philly and seeing what the Giants are now without him? Zero. None whatsoever. For me, the indictment is drafting a running back that high to begin with. It already with. happened, though. Right. Yeah. So it already happened. I'm, if I'm the Giants, my acknowledgement is, see, here's the problem with the Giants. They should have never entered into Saquon Barkley discussions. The problem is they clearly showed us they wanted him. I would have not entered into the discussions because I'm not paying a running back when I'm this bad that much money. I'm just not going to do it. I'm, he looks as but great as he... But they, weren't, but they weren't bad, though. They, they went to the playoffs and won a playoff game. But last year? But, yeah, they were, they were bad because the quarterback was hurt. Right, so... It I, wasn't, that, was, that was of no fault of the running back. I, do, I think Saquon Barkley is a great player. I think he... Absolutely loaded. The Eagles would be close to the Lions if they had a better football coach. That okay, so hold on. We got to drill down on that because you said he's playing with the best offensive line and he's playing with the best quarterback. I never said offensive line. I said overall talent. I said overall talent and quarterback. I definitely okay, so didn't say offensive line. So he's playing with the best overall talent yeah. and the best quarterback that he's ever had. Well, how, how is that still?